All right, so what's taking place right now, we're going through this little uh, bypass here from one land plot to, to another. The one we're about to go to opens up to about maybe 200 acres. So they're irrigating this land right now for uh, corn and it's been hit pretty bad uh, by deer, nil guy and hog. Uh, this is the field that had 10 acres uh, destroyed overnight. So the landowners are pretty upset, you know, having to replant and everything else. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot of deer. I actually have a feeder over here in the sand pit uh, for, for the hogs to try and at least keep them out of the green stuff and on onto free food. So uh, we'll see, we'll come to a T, we'll stop the vehicle, hop out, take a look, and uh, see how many heat signatures we'll find. And if we're lucky, we'll get you some. Come along with us and enjoy the great outdoors in the state of Texas. Texas Outdoor Lifestyles, brought to you by Lone Star National Bank. The city of South Hudger Island, Texas. Ron Hoover RV and Marine Center. Mayak Boats. Jim's Pier. Danny's Pawn Shop. Point Blank Sporting Goods. Pro Valley Food and select properties. Texas Outdoor Lifestyles. It's not just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. So this is actually right on Order. Yes. Okay, what are you attaching here? This is an IR illuminator. This sh shoots off an infrared light that helps illuminate the IR capability, but without alerting the animals. Now, if the IR uh, illuminator is really big, Hogs can actually see it to a certain extent. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a fine mix in trying to find the right amount of uh, IR to actually use. But uh, yeah, I'll give you, give you an example. Let me see. Okay. It should brighten up now. Oh my goodness. Like daytime. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do now, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with thermal. Now, the way thermal works, it picks up the heat signature, okay? So, um, that goes for anything. The ground, the grass, the metal rods, everything puts off some type of heat. Mm -hmm. This scope takes in that, that, that picture, that, that, that heat picture, and draws it out into a, basically a video photo. So, you, you get to see the actual heat signature of what's what's going on. Cool. So Okay, well let's tell the viewers what we're doing right now. And we are going to do a night hunt. No guys, so I'm going to be the shooter. I'm super excited. I'm here with the hog sniper, <laughs> Corey. Hello. And Corey. How's it going? <laughs> we're going to have an exciting episode for you tonight, and I'm pretty excited. So, Corey, tell us a little bit, okay, where we are, what exactly is the plan? All right, so the plan is tonight, we're down here in Brownsville. Um, we're out towards the Bo Boca Chica Beach area, and tonight we're going to look for some hogs, coyotes, and if we're really lucky, we're going to get some Neil guy, which the hog and the Neil guy are devastating the farmland for the people who I work the land for. So <clears throat> we're gonna do them a favor and try and take care of these nuisances. And uh, 
going to just have some fun doing, yes. doing some night hunts. We yes. might pull out the convergent caller and, and do some predator calls and see, see if we can't get something to come in. And uh, we're just going to be out and about all night. So Now, and you use a certain type of scope, and they sponsor you, correct? No, I'm, I'm on the Pulsar Pro staff. Uh -huh. That's oh. what it is. Yes, okay. I, I'm, I'm on their Pro staff. Uh, I, I have uh, three of their scopes, mm -hmm. and uh, it's they're amazing. I, I, I can't say enough about and it. And we're going to show those off tonight, right? Yes, we are. Yes, we're going to show those off tonight. Yeah. So, okay, well, let's get set up, and um, let's see see what we get. This is where we're using yeah. tonight. This is the Pulsar all right, XP50 LRF. has a built-in laser range finder. All right, we're shooting the Savage MSR-10, and we're gonna be shooting the 6.5 Creedmoor. So my favorite, it's my round of choice, and we're gonna be suppressed. And uh, we actually have another Pulsar uh, scope, but I have the bracket taken off so we can use it as a spotting scope. And uh, this is another Pulsar that I have a, a, a 20 hour battery on and uh, we're going to use this one as a spider scope as well and we're going to just see how it goes tonight and have a great time doing it all right awesome well don't go away guys it's going to be an exciting episode so what do we always say corey get you some, get you some. <laughs> <laughs>
And if there was an animal out there, it would show white, I would assume. Look at me. Oh, I see you 100%. <laughs> Wildlife corridor. Couldn't think of it. Mm. Oh. And that's that's where they're trying to collect connect as much land as they can oh, along okay. the, along the river. Yes, bad juju. The wildlife conserv conservatory, or it's called the wildlife corridor. This came from. Uh, a lot of a lot of movement with the. Uh, deer and, and, and hogs so uh, that's that's the game plan for for right now and then from there we'll go over to another section you know so we have plenty of places to go go to lots of opportunities yeah. cool We're gonna get this shooting stick set up for 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 Vicky's height, so that she's comfortable. So this is a Primo uh, shooting stick, and this little trigger right here, you can raise or lower just by pushing it in. So I just want to get it set for her height. So while we're driving, I'll lay it up top, and when it's time to get out, it'll already be to the correct height. So. Let me get you behind the weapon. And this one is too. We're full battery on this. We are ready to go get some. <laughs> yeah. In the distance, we've got what looks to be probably 10 to 12 deer. Try and zoom in. So, this is where the damage comes in because they've just planted this. Luckily for the deer, they're out of season. Look off to, to your left. Pan left. You might see the bobcat still. They're really grouped together. They're chowing down on that corner right there. We got the perfect wind. We got the perfect wind to put a stalk on. Cool, let's do it. Can I spray you? What are you doing? This is nose jammer. Spray me. Don't go away, we'll be right back after a word from these fine sponsors. Just like every building needs a strong foundation, the same is true for Lone Star National Bank. The strength of our roots is what transforms plans and ambitions into reality. Having a strong foundation gives us the strength to change lives, to transform communities, and to build for generations to come. At Lone Star National Bank, we believe in creating lasting relationships with our customers, one generation at a time. For 35 years, Lone Star National Bank, the Valley's Bank. Hi, we're here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine Center, and we're here with Alan and Edna, and we're gonna like showcase a few of the really, really cool campers and everything else that they have here. It's like my Disney World <laughs> of the outdoor world.
Welcome back to Texas Outdoor Lifestyles. Oh my God, there's a whole bunch of them. All right, guys, so what do you think? Did Vicky get a pass through or did she just downright miss it? Now, I got to say, I did the same thing shortly after that. So you tell me, is it a pass through or is it a miss for mine and hers? You be the judge. That hit it. Yeah. That's a hit. That's a hit. stepped in and boom 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 <laughs> get, get took that him one. down get him Vicky get him Vicky let me see I don't know where is it don't jerk your trigger just pull it back know why he calls himself the hog sniper. He gets <laughs> really excited. Hey. Shoot, I was excited. I was like, okay, everything you told me went out the window. <laughs> <laughs> One thing it could have been is the IR. Because when we got aimed in on them, they sort of started moving quickly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I told you that uh, they can pick up this IR. Mm -hmm. And this is a pretty pretty big ob objective here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like a 75 millimeter. That's so, probably what happened. So I, I'm, they were moving pretty fast yeah, after that. With thermal, you don't get that. So viewers, the difference, in IR night vision versus thermal animals can see that infrared to some degree so if you're looking at the pros and cons between thermal versus IR okay that's one <laughs> footage will be shown later and you'll be able to see why you know uh, going with thermal is such a premier choice Interesting. They never see it. They never see it. And uh, we level the playing field. IR, that's one of the things you have to worry about. So uh, it's okay. 
I think we still dropped a few. Yeah. Good so, stuff. Good stuff. I know. Thanks a lot, man. Good that stuff. Was, that was pretty awesome. So now we're going to go recovery. Recover them. Yes. And, um, On to the next field. Yeah. So. Awesome. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Caught him in the back. Oh, wow. Look at that bad boy. Okay, so that's one. Now we gotta find the other one, right? Yep. Okay. So, let me drag him. Get, Get you some. some. We done did got us one. And we're looking for the other one. What you got over there at your feeder, Corey? A couple of rabbits. Silly wabbit. Oh, I hate that rabbit. Silly wabbit. <laughs> All right, something's over there. We got a mama hog on the feeder. So uh, we're just gonna go up here about maybe 100 yards, set up the guns, and make our move, move on this hog. and everything will have dissipated and calmed the area down. We'll make a trip around, come back. We'll stop over there and look back this way. So we'll see. If we're lucky, we'll get you some. grand finale <laughs> you got one <laughs> don't go away we'll be right back luxury boat on the water. Welcome back to Texas Outdoor Lifestyles. Take a... Take a... Oh my god! <laughs> Welcome 
Well, guys, we had an awesome night hunt with the <laughs> hog sniper. And let me tell you, he is a hog sniper. We, we we saw like a group of yeah, we saw 15 it. of them, yep. and then another group of five or six, and yeah. um, we got two down. I think we can't find a few. Yes. And um, what el what else, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> well, what a night! And it's like three in the morning, so we're yeah. we're, we're a little exhausted. <laughs> we uh, ran into a Neil guy. We ran into a bobcat. Plenty of deer. Tons a of lot deer. of deer. And uh, more hogs. I think we had about three or four sets of hogs come through. So one one large group got ran off by the uh, by vehicles coming by that. Uh, will not mention and then yeah and then that's when we found this 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 big mama yeah but what an exciting night and thank you so much for having us here My and pleasure. um hopefully we'll get to do it again yes yes uh i think uh, neil guy is in order so uh, yes i think you might have to come back and uh fulfill that obligation absolutely absolutely <laughs> now your night vision is awesome as far as hey, your equipment <laughs> i'm telling you pulsar is top notch you know it's a uh, it's just a class all by itself and uh it makes it very easy to yes, to range does. an animal uh when you do thermal hunting it's sort of hard to get that range but when you can press a button and see exactly how far away you are. It's, I know that's awesome. We were at, nice. we, we started stalking at six. Six six oh nine. Yeah, and, about six hundred. And then we went to four, and then we went to three, and then we went to uh what two and a half, and yeah, and they were deer. Pretty much. <laughs> so had to do the responsible thing and back away. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, it was an awesome night tonight, and um, I can't wait to do it again. Yes. And what do we say, Corey? Get your Get soul. Your soul.